Hey friends, A Carson here, and today I just want to talk about a little bit of a story about why I quit Overwatch, how I actually came back to the game, why I began to love the game again, and also how you can enjoy it too, because I know a lot of people right now just is not, they're not enjoying the game. You know, there's a lot of crap you know trash talk about overwatch and i think i figured out kind of the key to really enjoying it so first i just kind of want to give you some context about why i actually left so essentially i started my youtube career and this this is connected i promise but i started my youtube career because of overwatch i hit masters and i was like man i was like first of all it felt great to rank up but second of all i was like i'm good enough that i can actually teach other people how to play so i started posting videos i started coaching my roommates I started uploading videos of me coaching them. And that's how I kind of got my start on YouTube. Now, I, I promise this relates. And essentially, the more I started uploading, the more I started playing, the more I started streaming, I started feeling really boxed in. And I would play for so many hours and eventually I just started getting frustrated with the game and I stopped enjoying it. But instead of just stopping, because for most people, if you don't enjoy a game, you could just stop playing it. It's not a big deal. But for me as a YouTuber who started as an Overwatch content creator, I felt pressure to continue to upload. I felt like I couldn't switch games I felt like I couldn't post other content and that was really stressing me out because YouTube is something I love, but I also want it to be something that succeeds. And if switching games or switching content style doesn't make it succeed, then that's a problem. So I was getting really, really stressed out about that. And on top of that, I told my community that I'm going to try and get GM or Grandmaster on all roles. And so I started streaming my progress. And what happened was whenever I would stream, Whenever I made any sort of mistake in game, I just felt like a fraud because here I am and I'm telling you how to play the game. Yet I can't I'm struggling to get out of diamond on tank and DPS. You know, I hit GM on support, but on the other roles, maybe not. And so I just felt like a fraud. I felt like every time I'd make some sort of mistake, why would they listen to me? You know? And I know that that's a terrible way of thinking, but at the time, that is that is how I was thinking. So the combination of like not feeling like I can leave Overwatch and feeling like I have to perform at a certain level really stressed me out and it made me enjoy the game even less. And so that's kind of the context of why I quit. I quit for about two months. Eventually, pretty recently, I came back and I came back just out of kind of curiosity. I took a two month break. I was like, man, I want to play. So... I asked the, you know, my roommates, my homies to play with me. And honestly, it was fun. It was a blast. I had a really, really good time. It was so fun to just hang out with the guys and relax. And we didn't take the game too seriously. We just kind of played some quick play. We had some fun. It was a good time. And then a couple days later, I went and played by myself. And I started like analyzing my decisions and being like, man, I could improve here and I could improve here. And it started to remind me of why I love the game in the first place. I love Overwatch because of the process that it takes to rank up. I love the game because you have to sit back and go, how can I improve as a player and then implement that thought process? You know, like maybe I need better positioning. Maybe I need better cooldown usage. I don't know, but essentially I love that process of like analyzing your mistakes and then trying to fix it. That to me just appeals, but that doesn't mean that the game's not frustrating. And that's kind of what I want to talk about now is why is the game so damn frustrating? Overwatch is a team-based game, right? There's five people on one team, five people on another team, and you guys are a team. And oftentimes, if one teammate's doing bad, it can really impact the game. And that can be really frustrating. And if you pair that with a first person camera, where you're more likely to see your teammates' mistakes rather than your own, it can make it even more frustrating because it feels like you're just constantly watching your teammates make mistake after mistake. That's a frustrating experience. And then on top of that, there are so many different things that act could actually impact the game that you're in. For example, one person could just not be warmed up enough, right? Maybe their mechanics aren't warmed up, so they're missing their shots. Or maybe they've just got three hours of sleep, and so they're not thinking very clearly. Or maybe someone's trying a new hero, or maybe this and that, right? Do you see what I'm saying? There's so many different factors that could make you win or make you lose, and that's frustrating because we often look at everyone else around us and go, man, they're not playing well, and they're probably the reason that we're losing. And this brings me to my next topic. How can you enjoy Overwatch more? How can you enjoy the game again? How can you enjoy it when all of these factors are making you win or lose? Now, obviously this is gonna be different for everyone because everyone enjoys the game in different ways. But for me, and I think for a lot of people this will be helpful, is a certain mindset that you go into the game with. You need to have a mindset that you can only control so many things in the outcome of the match. I can't control if my tank is feeding every three seconds, right? Or if my Ash is missing shots, or if my Anna is off running around for a flank. I can't control any of that. I can't control if they're tired. I can't control if they're not warmed up. I can't control if they're being toxic. You understand there's a difference between things that we can control and things that we can't control. And in Overwatch, we often focus 
on things that we can't control. You see your, your teammates making a mistake and it frustrates you. You go, man, I can't control that. Why are you doing that? Why are you being stupid? Why are you feeding? But this is where I think this mindset is instead of focusing on those things that you can't control, you need to focus on the things that you can control. And this is going to be multiple things. Obviously, you can control your own hero. Whoever you're playing, play to the best of your ability. Use your cooldowns right. Position correctly. Damage the right enemies. Play the game the best that you can. That's something you can control. What else can you control? Well, if you see something out of your control, you know what you can control? <laughs> this is going to make a lot of people upset, but you can control how you respond to your teammates being stupid. Because there's two ways to respond to that. You could see your teammates being stupid and be like, man, I'm gonna get real frustrated. I'm gonna hit my desk. I'm gonna get irritated. I'm gonna yell at them. I'm gonna get toxic. I'm gonna type. I'm gonna tell them they're stupid, right? You could do that. That's your choice. Or you can say, out of my control, if we lose, we lose, it's okay. In every area that we can't control, it actually opens up an area of control for ourselves. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that we can control is our mind. That is completely up to us. And so this is the mindset that I think you really need to learn when you're playing overwatch i really think that it will help a lot of people to actually enjoy the game if you go in the game and say i'm gonna be happy as long as i play to the best of my ability regardless of what my teammates are doing you might find that the game is fun again instead of focusing on whether you won or you lost focus on did i position well did i shoot the right people did i use my cooldowns properly you see what i'm saying there's a difference between focusing on the things you can control and the things you can't control and i really encourage you if you don't like this game to focus on that focus on what you can control now i took a a break from overwatch and the reason i loved that i took a break was because it really let me sit back and see all of this as a whole i was able to see why i was getting so frustrated because i was able to step away i was able to see that i was stressed about my youtube and on top of that i was able to see that i fell into a really bad habit of like blaming my teammates for this and blaming my teammates for that well i'm losing because of this or i'd get too frustrated and too harsh on myself and say well i suck at the game and so because i took that two month break i was able to step back and just relax and approach it from a different direction I was able to handle my YouTube stress. Now I'm posting all sorts of different types of content and I'm feeling comfortable doing it. I'm enjoying it again. And then now that I can come back to Overwatch, I can honestly say that I'm loving it. It's been a blast because I'm focusing on the things that I can control. So I know this is a little bit of a personal story, but I hope that some of you guys out there can relate to this and that you guys can use it. And I hope that it encourages you guys to enjoy the game a little bit more. We can't really control a lot of things in the game, but we can control how we respond to them. And at the end of the day, I think if you can do that, you're going to enjoy the game more. And if you really do think about it that's not just a lesson for overwatch that's a lesson for your life you can't control what people do to you but you can control how you respond and whether or not you let it get to you so i hope this message was encouraging to you and if you guys did relate to this leave a message down below this is a good place to chat about it have discussions let me know how are you are you enjoying overwatch what are you frustrated about i'd love to sit down and chat about it with you guys see what the community is hearing i just wanted to share this story because i really do think that if you just can sit back take a break occasionally you might enjoy the game a little bit more so have a good day hey carson out peace